Hi everybody, welcome to this tutorial on Stepad. Today the developer has issued an update and the update contains some very interesting functionality. So let's go and explore them. So here we are in AUM. Let's click on the plus sign. Let's create a MIDI channel and also an audio channel. Let's set the audio channel to have as a audio unit extension ISM from Arturia. Let's click on the plus sign for the MIDI channel. Let's select as an audio unit MIDI processor, StepBud AUV3. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> and uh, while we're here, let's uh, connect. So let's click on the left hand side of uh, the audio channel and let's connect uh, um, ISM to StepBud AUV3. So first thing, let's go in StepBud. Uh, there are a few changes which have been introduced. As you can see straight away, there is a record button here. So <clears throat> let's get rid of the steps. Click on the minus, minus sign. And um, <clears throat> then um, let's ensure that we have connected uh, an external MIDI controller, which is, I'm going to use as a MIDI source. In this case, I have my Akai LPK25, wireless Bluetooth, and let's show that that is a MIDI source in the step pad. So back into step pad, let's click on the record button. And then after I have done that, let's um, hit some keys on my external MIDI controller. As you can see, um, Stabad can record directly uh, the different steps um, uh, from a MIDI source, which is quite uh, quite good, quite handy. Um, the other thing you, which you can do is um, record um, chords. So um, let's select uh, a scale. In this case, I don't know, let's keep it as a measure. For now, let's switch to chords. Let's click the record button, and now I'm going to hit some uh, uh, chords in my external controller. So an A minor, as you can see, you recognize that it is an A minor. C major, here we go. A D minor, which is really good. If I hit a chord which is not in the scale, see what happens, um, as you can see, and he has highlighted these in a different way. And uh, by the way, you can still double click on the step here and you can look, yeah, have a look at uh, um, the chord which uh, I have inputted from the external control and therefore you can still change it. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's record uh, another chord. Okay. Um, and let's stop. Uh, the recording and let's hit play just to ensure that we have connectivity, connectivity between step bud and ISM. And also let's change the uh, rate to one for and the gate to one for now. Let's click play again. Okay, the next thing which has been added is the ratchet function. Here we go. If you click on it, you can set it for each step from one to four. So let's uh, make sure that uh, we have two on the first one, three, uh, four, and back to uh, two. And let's play. So as you can see, you have ratchet codes uh, for every step, depending on the select um, the settings you have selected. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I wanted to show you, which has been added here on the settings, if you scroll, you have the MIDI. If you click on the MIDI here uh, section, you can enable the MIDI note in. But more importantly, <clears throat> you can set the MIDI channel. So let's say that we set these to uh, channel 5, which because it starts from 0, it will be channel 6. Um, just remember, it goes from 0 to 15, not from 1 to 16. So this will be channel 6. <clears throat> As I've done this, I can go now back to uh, ISM, click on the settings on the left-hand side. At the moment, 
is not filtering on any channel. If I click none and I play, nothing will happen because um, although it is connected, it's not listening on any MIDI channel. But if I select uh, MIDI channel 6, as you can see, you can actually uh, set uh, the MIDI channel uh, output for StepBud. I think these are great uh, addition to StepBud and they're very welcome additions. So well done to the developer to introduce these changes uh, um, just at the beginning of uh, 2020. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. See you next time. Bye.